Hi, welcome back. This is a historic moment. Season two of Alexi Sales Psychogeography. I'm sorry that we stopped uh, the bike videos for a while, but I frankly got fed up with them. Uh, but now we're back and we've gone all electric. So um, I'll talk about that and uh, everything else as we ride, I think. No point in doing it static. Just to say, as a kind of location, we're outside the ITN on the Grazing Road. It's a bizarre, one of the oddest things about um, being by ITN News is you see like Lindsay Hilsom, their foreign affairs uh, reporter, and you'll see her having a coffee in Costas just up there. And then the next afternoon, it seems, or that afternoon, she seems to be in Azerbaijan or Kviv. Uh, it's a funny life. Anyway, this is ITN News. This is where all the lies come from. All right, off we go. Just, um, so this is the bike lane that they put in during COVID up the grazing road. One of the things that this uh, having an electric bike has done, or this particular electric bike, has actually made me more law abiding. Partly it seems to be, I don't know, it just seems to be more of, um, aggressive to go through uh, traffic lights on such a huge machine, but also because it's, it feels less nimble, so you can't really nip through the traffic so much. Why? Oh. I'm just going down here as uh, I've mentioned it before, but you see this shop on the left? It's called King of Falafel. Not my king. This is uh, Clerkenwell Road. It used to be, actually, this was a... The Clerkenwell pub here was a centre for bike messengers. This was where they used to meet and have street racing but there's no bike messengers anymore so that doesn't happen i'm gonna go down hatton garden center of london's jewelry trade i'm assuming talal is behind me uh, And of course, the Hatton Garden um, jewellery safe box robbery, which has been made into 47 different films starring elderly actors. This uh, van is trying to mow me down. So, it, a van, those is a it's called Sayak, which is the Shanghai Automotive Company. Uh, they look awfully like. Um, sort of man or Volkswagen vans, but somehow they seem to have got away with it. But the um, the smaller they do a smaller van, uh, which is based on there used to be a, a, a British uh, van manufacturer called LDV for a while, Leyland Daft Vans, and they bought the. It's easy for you to say. Um, they bought the, the, the rights to manufacture the LDV Maxus when it went bust. And if you look at the smaller Shanghai, the Sayak vans, you can see the remains of some of the panels are the same, the same pressings. So how did we come to go electric? And that's the reason why I'm wearing this stupid freaking helmet. Well, um, if you watch the, uh, if you were interested in the podcast, 
you'll have seen that we did a video with a great uh, hero of mine, uh, Ogmios. Oh, I don't know about the, the uh, legality of this is somewhat I'm going to get ahead of it. Whoa! Look. Oh, no. Uh, we did a video with Ogmios of the Zen School of Motoring and he had been given one of these bikes by Himiway. Today's show is sponsored by Himiway. So he said, why don't you get one? So we did really and we have to, they would like us to do some videos featuring these bikes and then we can keep them which is uh, okay I guess uh, usual oh fuck's sake usual random Road closures here, slight space. We're trying to get over Blackfriars Bridge. I think the, the actually the, the bike lane going both north and south starts here. Uh, Blackfriars Bridge was quite interesting in that they did a very early bike lane which went up the middle of which went up right up the middle of Blackfriars Bridge and which meant you had to swing into the middle of the bridge to use it and I think resulted in the death of a number of cyclists. So this is the junction of um, Fleet Street and Farringdon Street and that well I don't have to do this anymore because you know, that Leon there used to be a pub called something like the old <laughs> the old Ned Ludd which was where I had my first alcoholic drink when I was about 14 when I was down in London on a Vietnam War demonstration it's now a, a Leon so the Himaway, yes. Uh, this is a, a machine that I call the Beast. It's um, hey, we're not supposed to do that anymore, are we? Og me also be angry with me when. You see, it's that. So, yeah, this is, a, I, I, I mean, I'd be interested to know, as you're watching, who is, who this bike is aimed at, really. I think it's maybe young people, because it's very, it's very stylistically, it is, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's a bike, it's heavy. Uh, which is what bikes are not supposed to be. But it does look, I think if it is, uh, it is remarkable looking uh, machine. It looks like nothing else. I think it looks like a, to many people, I'm it looks like a, a motorbike crossing over Blackfriars Bridge now. Oh, I think we talked about, yes, there's a scene in the Mission Impossible movie where Tom Cruise 
runs across the roof of uh, Blackfriars. So we have we've covered part of, we've covered parts of this route before, but you know there's always fresh things to say. Although I can't think what they are at the moment. This particular, I keep catching my heel on something. I don't know what it is. This particular machine obviously has a electric motor in the rear wheel. The the e-bikes that I've read, mostly ridden before, I think, had the motor in the crankcase, just assisting the pedals, and the power delivery is much more much smoother, I think, when you have that arrangement. With this, there's quite a lag between, um, between, there's a little twisty grip here, which just gets you up to three miles an hour. Uh, there's quite, there's a bit of a, there can be a bit of a lag between pedaling and, um, as you're getting going, which is all kind of, is slightly unnerving. I don't think we know if we've been here before. We are heading towards the Elephant and Castle. The famous kind of 1960s shopping center, which has recently been demolished and actually I think about it I don't know what there may be some quite challenging bike lineage there's the cut the end of the cut is um, the old Vic theatre Even on an electric bike, though, it's a, you know, I've kind of talked about, you know, stopping and starting for traffic lights is a goddamn pain in the ass. I think as I'm not particularly familiar with this machine, obviously uh, I find it difficult at the moment to just idle with it to stay upright. We have an incident here by the look of it. Fire engine, ambulancia. But yeah, if you if you think this machine is the is the shizzle, <laughs> oh, mother, <laughs> okay, <laughs> form of words. I would be interested to hear your opinion. Now, how the fuck am I supposed to get around this? It's an interesting challenge. What, I mean, where the fucking fuck does this, these bike lanes go, indicates like you go, you're welcome, 
is this way. This is, I am. Ah. You knew the route more if it's. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to go this way. It's, it's the back of the Imperial War Museum. Formerly, of course, the Bethlehem Hospital for the Prince of the Elf, from which we get the word Bedlam. I, I, I haven't been there for years, really. I don't you know, like, you know me, I like a, a war museum as much as the next fascist. But I don't know. Doing 25 kilometers an hour. 25 kilometers an hour. Again, we're now coming up again to the Elephant and Castle roundabout. How we are going to get, we want to basically go uh, along, sort of along the river, really. Okay. How we do that, there's a sort of map here. Kind of back where we, oh I see, okay. Kind of back where we started from. Now this building here is where I used to teach years ago. It used to be called the London College of Sprinting. No, not called that. It's called the London College of, I don't know, media or That looks like the bike lane sends us. Uh, uh, oh, is that, is that? Oh, is that actually there? We go here. Is this right? I think we may be going. I don't know, it doesn't really indicate whether this is two way or one way. Where the fuck it goes now. Ah, oh, man. Oh, fuck this shit. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's good. So Talal was just saying that uh, the people who made, I mean, obviously it's made in China as everything is, but the people who uh, made these bikes, they wanted to make off-road e-bikes for the people, much more reasonably priced, I think. And it is extraordinary. On their, their own site, uh, Himaway offer these bikes for one thousand four hundred ninety-nine pounds, which I think, for considering all the stuff you are getting, is amazing value. One of the things I also find odd about is if you try and kind of put more effort in. It sort of fights you a bit, really. I don't know whether this is a feature of this particular arrangement of motor or this particular bike, but it's odd, really, because obviously your inclination is always to, if you put more effort in, you speed up, but uh, 
does not seem to be the case with the Himaway cruiser. Uh, we're on Kennington Road. This is a journey that I do regularly, either in a car or on public transport or on foot or on a bike, because my dentist is in Streatham. Now, Streatham is a long way from where I live, but I bumped into my dentist, Neil, about 30 or 40 years ago, and a poor boy was a friend of a friend, and I said, um, because dentistry then was, uh, dentists now are kind people, but um, it used to be that they were actually sadists. And I said to him, you know, if I ask you to stop, will you stop? And he said, yeah. So I've been with him ever since, and um, Neil has long since gone, but I stay with the practice. And uh, so I regularly come to make this journey. So for the, obviously there's a lot of extraordinarily fine kind of Georgian housing along these roads and along the back streets. I don't really know. The economics of South London, but clearly it was at one time very also home to very many wealthy, wealthy, wealthy people. That's uh, that is not. And even by my standards, is poor, poor historical info. And this route is a cycle superhighway, as we see, it's blue. Just to our right, for those cricket fans, is uh, Kennington Oval, where they play cricket. Cricket's something that I'm, I'm glad it exists, but I don't really want to have much to do with it, you know. A lot of, um, like a lot of activity today, police and fire brigade, get the fire brigade, get the fire brigade. One of the things I think that this makes me look a bit is like the world's saddest and oldest Deliveroo rider. I was riding to Liverpool Street Station the other day. I was taking this for a, a, a run in the country. And a policeman, City of London policeman, waved me down. There was about two or three of them. And they said, oh, you know, we're doing uh, safety checks. They dressed it up as being uh, they were doing safety checks on bicycles. But I think what they were really doing was stopping people with, on e-bikes. And if they'd been messed with, they were taking them off them. They certainly, they had a police, young police woman said to me, that bike over there, which was the, the rider had, was long gone. Uh, they said that bike can do 50 miles an hour. And, he doesn't have to pedal at all. And, uh, he's got no license, helmet, any of that, and so <laughs> they're taking it off him. And 
it's got so I, clearly I just so I've got a trench catch and you know this bike hasn't been messed with so I was allowed to depart well you know I'm a rich, angry white man. This police are not gonna. Actually, I might just divert off. I think this is a this is a really interesting area. One of the things that's attractive about this part of London, South London. I may, I'm gonna do something illegal here. Um, is that is much more mixed. Uh, economically and socially and we she did think about buying a a house around here it's, it's too far I think well, a lot of our North London friends said they wouldn't speak to us again if we moved here but um there's some beautiful little enclaves Although one of the problems is, I think that because it's so close to the House of Commons, you get a lot of MPs live here. Also, St. Thomas's Hospital, so you get a lot of doctors. And also, because it's so close to MI6, you get a lot of spooks who have houses here. But nevertheless, it is. Uh, and it's, these things are relative, but it's a lot cheaper than north of the river. But this isn't, these, where I brought you is not really where I wanted to go. Never mind. Let's carry on. I might go back up onto Kennington Road. Also, it's quite, there's a lot of interesting sort of, you know, 1960s kind of brutalist, uh, tower blocky kind of architecture. I don't know whether me actually making an effort adds to your pleasure, really. And whether you're happy with... There's still a degree of effort involved in, you know, riding one of these things. It's also I actually find it quite difficult to get yeah, comfortable on the handlebars. And, I've changed them around a bit, but not really got anywhere. A Tesco Express used to be a pub. And there's another Tesco Express up here. Also used to be a pub. Brickstone restaurant. That's a play on words. Because we're in Brixton. No, oh, mother.
could be an interesting basketball related accident there. Just on the outskirts of Brixton now. A Tesco petrol station. It's always been a petrol station. A man was going very fast on his motorbike. People were passing me on push bikes. Oh, there's a place there, I forgot to mention, most important, there's this Chinese sort of place, like almost a, like a kiosk, a little hole in the wall, where they do five spring rolls for a pound. Can you believe that? Five spring rolls for a pound. They're, they're nice. They're not, you know, they're very pleasant. This is uh, outskirts of the centre of Brixton. Vibrant, buzzing, foodie, music, nightlife, men on roller skates, Electric Avenue. I don't know what they're selling. Do they have a permit for that? I don't know. Oh, that's good. I'm glad we've heard that. That is the sound of London. If you can hear that clicking, that is the sound of a stolen lime bike. Uh, as a kid, that kid has taken that lime bike and he's not paid for it and that's why it's making that clicking noise. Uh, he, he's not getting the electric assistance but he's getting a free ride on a bike I suppose. But that is a sound you will hear a lot in London and I'm glad we've heard it on our first electric uh, cyclogeography. The sound of a stolen lime bike. Cheerio! Well they always assist all these rides. Nice. Labour Party. Oh no, Noodle Bar. <laughs> Same shit, right? Yeah.